what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back it's your boy terabyte reacts i don't know why i do that it's your boy <laughs> anyways guys that is my intro anyways guys I, I i love to see um what should i say i love to see good anime i love to see when i'm watching an anime it is bingeable now as you guys should know by now, um, even though you're you're probably like we're we're like five episodes deep, right? You should know by now that I am trying my best to get this stuff out to you guys or get these episodes done, you know, in the background and stuff like that. Um, and I have plans for when you know stuff are going to release. I'm gonna make a community post of it whenever, right? Um just to let you guys know what's coming to the channel so what you can expect so i hope you guys are staying excited so when it comes on to um parasite today what i'm planning to do is to do a lot of these episodes i'm trying to right now we're on episode five i'm gonna do episode five and forward today what i'm planning to do is um binge a lot of this today you guys know that I'm watching this alongside Rainbow. Now, Rainbow is a show I cannot watch more than two episodes. One, it's just, you will leave that show just completely depressed. There's no, there's no happy ending to, I, I don't think there's been a happy ending to any of the episodes so far. Like, there's always just this, the ending of, the, the cliffhangers that they leave on, right, are always like a hopeless situation you know what i'm saying like and they're doing that on purpose of course this is a it's a drama anime um you know so what i'm going to do is um i'm gonna go way ahead into parasite today so i'm sitting down in this session you see me here right now you're gonna see this white shirt in a lot of episodes come coming up because today i'm planning to do I want to sit down in this session and do about 10 of these episodes. So we might get to probably around um, a little bit over halfway of the season. So we'll see how things go and how I feel. I want to do 10 episodes. Um, but the issue is once I sit here, it's so much better to do double uploads because that way I don't have to stop to do, um, to do a review for every episode i want to do double episodes so bad <sighs> i want to but i can't <laughs> i can't because i don't know how well this series is going to do i don't know you know what i'm saying like if it if this series was doing if this series if i could have guaranteed that this season was gonna do like you know uh, a thousand views um you know per upload i would do double i would do double uploads for sure but you know the reason why i split it up into in, in the episode and release them like on a day-to-day -day basis um the reason why i do that for the youtube channel is because it keeps you guys coming back and that way even though i'm not getting a lot of views if i'm getting like 100 200 views on one video if i do instead of having 1 to 200 views on one video i can get 1 to 200 views on one on you know what i'm saying on two videos and double the amount of views right so i have to keep those things into consideration too you know um that's why you know, sometimes I'll do it for like the last episodes of the season. I'll do double uploads, but like during the season, I would do one episode per because that way I have a chance to also increase my watch time on the channel on average and also increase the, um, the views on the channel, right? So instead of giving you two episodes for one upload, I can give you two episodes for two uploads and that way i can double my views instead of just having it for one episode right so as much as i love to do double uploads and super reactions i started to cut down on those because i real I, I realized that you know i, I could double my views because i don't get a lot you get what i'm saying so i can double my views i can have a hundred of you come back for another video on the next day or even the same day but at least it's two different videos. You get what I'm saying? So that's where I am. So 
where I'm going to go into my little spiel right now of things that you should be done or should have already done because we're on episode five. You should have already done this. Okay. So guys, please, if you have not done this yet, please do it. Backup channel link is in the description. Terabyte reacts and gaming, go and subscribe over there and turn your notifications on the videos that I upload. They are uploaded on both of these channel and released at the same time. The only videos that are not released over on the backup channel are like update videos. I don't care to really up, you know, include my update over there. Um, maybe I should start doing that, but that's the only videos. But other than that, guys go over there. If you want to get notifications for these videos, when they drop, go over there and subscribe. This is not you know, I would not, I'm not trying to get you guys to go build up my YouTube. Another YouTube channel is not what I'm trying to do. The reason why I'm doing this is because on the original channel, terabyte reacts, notifications are broken. They are broken. They don't work. So if you just are here on terabyte reacts, you're not going to get notifications for when videos drop. So you're not going to know when parasite drops, even though they're probably going to drop every day at the same time, go over there and sign up. So just in case you forget, cause people have, you know, you, people have a lot in your lives going on. Sometimes you don't remember. So at least you can have that notification there and be like, Oh, terabyte put out a new parasite episode today. I completely forgot about that. This is something I can watch later. It is what it is. So if you have not done that yet, please go and do that. It's not for my sake. It's for yours because you're the guys who come back day after day to enjoy my reactions. Okay. So as I said, man, let's jump into it. Let's get these. <laughs> I'm trying to get 10 episodes in today. I'm determined to sit here for the next five hours and get this done. So, um, Thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all. There's plenty of other shows that I'm reacting to that is in the background that is getting ready other than Rainbow and Parasite that I watch. I'm watching them little by little. They're going to premiere, you know, you know, after and stuff like that. There's other stuff that are going to premiere half a seasons of some. Um, and then I'll drop the other half like a week after that and something like that. That's going to be on early access. But all that information is going to, you know, you guys are going to see it. So don't worry. You guys are going to see you're going to know what's coming, you know, and all that stuff. I'll be posting it. Um, so you'll be able to see it, um, on the a community post. Um, so yes, so let's go, let's jump into parasite episode five. I'm so happy to watch this series. So I have my water ready. I have my food, my snacks ready. I'm ready to go. So if you don't mind me eating during episodes, you're going to see it because I need to get this done anyways. Let's jump into it and I will see you guys for the reviews. I don't know why you over here thinking he's still like a pure human. Dude, you have a parasite literally fused to your body. <laughs> Isn't this the guy that punched you or something? <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. Yeah, don't become like that. One V one, bitch. Shut 
Uf. Okay. You gonna wake up, Miggy? <笑>大丈夫かよ。長い。でも、そこが動物と人間の違うところだ。君は彼女いるんだね。まだ何か。今朝、なんで見えなかったの別に。同じクラスってだけの理由でかばって殴られて。これ普通じゃないよね。そんな普通じゃないよって。行こう。格好つけないでよ。正義感ぶってても裏で何やってるかわかんないんだから。彼女なんだよ。何でもないだろう。彼女やつ。やめて。The hell? For real, dude? Bro, you gonna have to fight back, throw a fist, something. さもないとなんだ。ママに言ってちゃうか。いい加減にしなよ。先生。この。お前ら何遊んでんだよ。神様。中。
わざわざタクシー飛ばしてきた甲斐があったな。いつかまた、新一も連れてここに。<笑>どこまで来ても新一だな。ノブノー I'm done. I'm done. I can't watch this no more. I can't watch this no more. Bro, that's the least thing I expect to happen, bro. Like, what? Are you kidding me right now? As if Sinichi's not going through enough. Sinichi's not going through enough, guys? Shinichi is not going through enough. We gotta kill his moms? Bro. Bruh, I, bro, that caught me so off guard, bro. Cause these, are, these, these people are not even in anywhere in the front of my mind. <sighs> Bruh. He survived. Bro, bro. この時、この日に次の宿泊地を決めるのさ。ひらしで It's his mom, bro. It took over his mom's body. There's no way he's gonna have. That is not your mom, bro. どうしたわけ。なぜ右手に寄生しているの?奴は君の母親の頭を奪ったんだ。え?右手?ああ、これ。もっと早く打ち上げようと思ってたんだけど。ついにね。さて驚くだろう?この。ちいち、違う。あの
What the hell is going on? Bruh. You got to snap out of it. Oh my God, that episode was brutal. Ah. Wow, what an episode. Um... Ah, man, this is the thing about it. The, the reason why I like this anime, it does not, it doesn't pull punches for one. There's the stakes. You guys know how I love stakes. You know what I'm saying? Well done. <laughs> right? You guys know I love, I, I love stakes in anime. I like that there's consequences for stuff. And I love that reaction. Like, that's how most of us would react. You get what I'm saying? But he's got to he's got to come out of that because it's that's not good. That's not good. Like he got stabbed. And and that's just not good, you know what I'm saying? So and, and this whole time Miggy's trying to wake him up is like Shinichi, Shinichi, like get get your head in the game. That's not your mom, bro. You know what I'm saying? But I understand his perspective and seeing this because it, it it's like this the face you know what I'm saying? He's literally traumatized in the moment. So it's very hard for him to snap back into reality to understand what's going on. So I'm curious to see how he's going to handle this. Um, another thing I want to talk about this episode um, is the whole bullying situation where he went to save the, um, you know, his classmate and took a beating and let's be honest guys most of us are not gonna do something like that you know what i'm saying i'm one to jump into a fight if i know the person personally i think i would more jump into a fight if i know the person that gets beat beating up you know what i'm saying even if it ends up that both of us gets beat up i would more jump in for somebody i know um when it's somebody you don't know as i've always said make sure you assess the situation don't just jump in just because you see you know somebody who's helpless because you don't know what's going on you get what i'm saying you don't know if that person started the fight and now he's getting his ass beat or your ears or she you know what i'm saying like you can't white knight every situation that you see out there um i'm not saying that you're not supposed to be a good samaritan to people and stuff like that like that's not what i'm talking about i'm talking about a situation where you don't understand the situation and i get why shanisha did it you know their kids blah 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 there was no um knife or guns involved and stuff like that like it was just fists they were just beating him up um in a situation like that is a very i would say not a high probability but somewhere 50 50 if i would jump into a situation like that after i see what's going on like i'm not gonna just jump in just because you know what i'm saying like I have to see what's go what's going on first. Like if it's somebody getting jumped, I might jump in. You get what I'm saying? If it's somebody get I see somebody getting jumped, I'm like, "Oh, you know what I'm saying? You got to know what the situation is. You don't know. This person might have stolen from this group and now they're beating his ass. <laughs> you don't know." So, in a situation like Shinichi's situation, it's very easy because um you know what I mean? Um because he knows the person he knows the person maybe not person on a personal level but he goes to school with him is his classmates and you learn you can learn a lot about somebody that you know what i'm saying like you've been in class with you can learn a lot about them you know other than you know if they're brilliant or if they're dumb you get what i'm saying like you can learn a lot about your classmates like up to this day i can remember traits of certain people and they grow up to be exactly what i thought they was going to be you know what I'm saying? Like traits of people in, in, in your class that you're like, oh, 
you know what I'm saying? It, not to condemn people or anything like that, but you can you can tell some people just don't have that drive. And sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Like they're in school, they don't pay attention and stuff like that. And they turn out to be great people. You know what I'm saying? And for the most part, you can judge a lot of these people. Like if they don't change or some mindset change about them, you can basically tell what their future is going to be like. You know what I'm saying? It's like me. I never imagined in my lifetime that I would experience the amount of hardship that I was met with during my 30 something years on earth. Like I never dreamed of that up until I was probably like, um, when reality sets in at a, when I was like, probably like 19, 20 years old, like reality really set in for me because at that point I was homeless. I was broke. Well, if you're homeless, you're broke. <laughs> right. So there were just things that I would have never imagined. If you had asked anybody from Jamaica, what terabyte was going to turn out to be, you get what I'm saying? Like they would have never said, Oh, he's going to be homeless. Oh, he's not going to have no money. Oh, he's the, you get what I'm saying? So you can't really judge people based on certain things because you don't know what their life is going to be. And I'm not blaming anybody, but me, I blame everything that happened to me on me. You get what I'm saying? Like it was decisions that I made that caused me to end up in those situations. And I've just come to accept that and just be better. You know what I'm saying? So for me, when I look at, um, that situation, I wanted to talk about it because as I said, man, in anime, I look for things, no matter what kind of medium, I look for things that I, that I can relate to, that I can draw parallels from in even real life. And sometimes, you know, even though this is, has some sort of supernatural feel to it, there's still lessons that there's still some bars that they're dropping during the episodes. You know what I'm saying? When they're comparing human versus animals and stuff like that very interesting thing that i heard i think it was miggy that that said it that you know what i'm saying um you know i, I think between no it's actually not <laughs> actually it's not it was something i was watching before i heard his quote um but i'm not gonna say it anymore because it's from a different show that i that i literally like a few minutes ago finished watching um, so I'm kind of transferring it over here, but it has to do with the same concept with, with humans being between, you know, between God and beast, right? So it's, um, that's what I was going to say, but it, it has something to do with that, but it, it's not going to make any sense now because I have to keep it in the purview of the show. So when it comes on to, um, those things, it's kind of like certain things that Miggy says sometimes it's like, because there's no empathy there and miggy mirrors what a what 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 like a, a serial killer would be like lacks empathy they don't understand they don't understand why they kill they don't they you know what i'm saying or they just kill but there's no empathy there's no feeling sorry for what you did you get what i'm saying there's no remorse so that's how miggy operates you know what i'm saying so he doesn't understand why humans do certain things because it's like it's not you know humans have these moral compass if you will um, that kind of guides us to, you know, that kind of guides us throughout our lifetime on earth and to help us to make decisions or to not, uh, you know, to make good decisions or to make bad decisions as well. So you can go against your best judgment, even though, you know, something is wrong, you can still choose to do the wrong thing. So free will, you know what I'm saying? Um, one of the things that they talked about earlier in earlier episodes where, it's like they're talking about um, us, you know, choosing, you know what I'm saying, and having free will, or does free will really exist? You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, are we just anim innately just animals and animals just born to do, um, anim animals just born to do, they born to exist, they're born with already knowing their purpose. So it's kind of like um, for us, you know what I'm saying? We have free will to do whatever we want to do because we're the dominant, the, 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 um, the dominant species, right? So it's awesome to see this. I'm, I'm feeling very sad that the mom thing, but it caught me off guard. It really did because I thought, you know, she's always going to have his mom and dad there to kind of like lean back on to talk about things when, 
whatever she did <laughs> you know what i'm saying parasite took over her body this fight is probably going to be epic as hell i'll see you guys next time of course make sure you leave a like and a comment on this video even you membership people because i know you guys don't come back to watch the episode when it actually drops so all you membership people that are watching this right now don't forget to like the video and leave a comment the comment still shows up even though it, it's not on youtube um for everybody else yet it still shows up in the comment section okay so if you want to have a discussion now because i know some of you guys you don't come back to comment on the video so you might as well comment now if you have something to say or have something to say there's a lot to discuss here let's do it man let's get to episode um six i will see you guys another day another time but you already know 10 episode session let's go i'll see you guys next time peace